happy Saturday. Today I wanted to do a little adventure around Vancouver. So we have one location that I wanted to visit specifically today and I wanted to take you guys along. And today I wanted to show you guys the Granville Island Market, which I've actually never been to. <laughs> I have yet to go. I've walked by it. Um, I have to walk near it for work. So I've walked past it a couple times, I've seen it, but I've never actually been. I'm excited, I think, I've heard that it's really, really cool. Hopefully it's still as busy and doing okay, given the circumstances. Um, it is still open though, so hopefully that's a sign that it's doing all right. So yeah, we are going to go to the Granville Island Market. All right, let's do it. take photos of but I um, get a couple video clips of and then it started pouring which I haven't actually experienced yet coming to Vancouver it's rained a lot don't get me wrong but it's always a light drizzle or mist or even a little bit more than a drizzle but it's never a full-on pour it was it was full-on I went to this lovely little shop that had postcards from like so many postcards and I went there because a lot of them are done by local artists plus there's a few like vintage Vancouver ones and you know just BC postcards your classic postcard um, and I 
wanted to pick some up for my family. I am not going home for Christmas because British Columbia has guidelines right now saying you're not supposed to travel for anything that's not basically work related. Um, so it, it specifically says you're not supposed to travel to see family or go on a fun vacation. Uh, obviously they can't physically stop you from traveling, but also I would rather stay here and not put anyone at risk. Right now, Ontario is absolutely horrible for COVID, so I'd rather not fly in there. And the thing is, even if I flew home, I wouldn't really get to see my family anyways, because everyone is isolating. They're not even getting together with each other, so. Long story short, I'm sending them all postcards. Yeah, I got a bunch of beautiful postcards. Um, there's a few that I actually love. I think Dave Wilson, yes, David John Wilson. He's a watercolor artist and he did all of these cards, which I loved these ones when I walked into the store. So basically I got every single one of the ones that um, he had painted for her shop. And she mentioned to me that he's actually one of the other vendors at the market. So I guess he's there somewhere else. I don't remember where she said, but she said that he had actually recently come and given a couple extra ones. So I got a few that weren't even out yet, which is fantastic because I need at least one for every family member. <laughs> so I got those watercolor ones. I got just a few classics. I got a couple just generic cards and then a few kind of different ones you know i got um some that were like kind of a vintage one and some that are like like a little polaroid and just some just some miscellaneous ones um that i picked out that i thought certain people would like in my family so i got those um this is definitely enough to cover everyone in my family but just in case i got some herbarium uh vintage postcards if there's one thing you need to know about my family it's that everyone in my family it has a green thumb yeah i i do not think that there is anyone in our family who does not have an intense green thumb if anyone i'm probably the person who is the worst with plants and even i'm pretty good compared to your average joe i feel like so <laughs> I know that they'll love these ones as well. So I got the postcards and then I just picked up a little cone incense burner. I used to burn incense all the time. I actually generally I burn incense all the time. I just didn't bring a burner with me. So I went and picked up this tiny little one. I think it was like, it was $4. And then I got a couple of the packs of incense cones so that I can burn those. And I got one with a lid so that if you try to shove your face near it, it might not burn you. So I hope that you guys enjoyed that little video. I would absolutely love to do more little exploration videos around Vancouver um, and eventually BC once I, well, basically whenever I'm able to, I don't have a car or anything. So there's only so many places around BC that I can go, uh, depending on how, like if one of my friends is going there with a car or if I wanna take a bus, that kind of thing. So if there's anywhere that you guys have in mind that even if you've never been here, but you just want to see it, um, you want to know what it's like, let me know. I can go there um, and do kind of like a little mini tour and put together a little video for you to check out. So let me know if that is something that you guys would be interested in. So thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you are not already. Um, and that's all I got. <laughs> So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to smile and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.